Hello everybody and welcome back to Provost Gaming, a more EU4, Rule Britannia, going for the Anglophile achievement. We are so dang close. Right now we're killing Tlemcen for good measure, but sounds like Bengal is going to be a bit annoying to kill. It's not showing that the Ottomans would join, but I suspect that they would. I still want to kill Frisia and take over their colonies. Same with Castile. Um, well, one thing we could do is go and kill natives, you know, while we're sitting around waiting. Imperialism on these guys? Sure, why not? Imperialism! Just go kill natives. There's a siege of Jerba done. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. His army's way over this away. We can carpet siege faster than he can. We got our 50 innovativeness, which, by the way, is reducing the power cost of everything by 5%. Not bad. Let's continue converting all these Catholics to the proper faith. My god, Anglicanism is going to be fun! Look at this! The Church of England wishes that I was in control of their nation. Totally would start up a theocracy. Victory! Colonists! Yay! Let us assist Australia. I guess. I don't need... To. I could colonize anything freaking else. It doesn't... There's no reason to do this. There really isn't any reason to do this. Aside from just making, like, the fill in the dust and... Uh, sorry, fill in the desert and make this stuff look better. Bahamas is colonizing?! What? That's awkward. Um, I mean, we could start a colonial nation down this way, I guess. Just start working on it, but... I don't think I care. I want to colonize Hawaii. I do. And we're even going to take you... And drop him off this away. We're gonna take over Hawaii and set up a proper vacation spot for our empire. Because that is all that Hawaii is good for. Sorry, Hawaii. It's called being facetious. I'm sure you trust. I'm sure you, I'm sure you believe me. There goes another colony done. So that actually should be a colonial nation right there. Well then. Alaska is our new colony. Papal separatists in Nice. Hello. That was unexpected. I don't actually have any troops nearby. Um, all right. I will let you live for the moment. That's awkward. What else do I want to colonize? Uh, we could colonize some islands down over this way. We could start working on, like, Papua New Guinea and stuff. I mean, I guess... They're really aggressive, but oh well. We'll do it anyway. Alright, nationalism against Alaska because, you know, they're a new nation that's begun. Tlemcen, you should stay far away from me. That is a bunch of cores done. New national decisions, abolition of slavery acts. Now, missionary strength goes down, but tech cost also goes down. Because apparently if you have slaves, that is the best way to convert people to your faith. Polish Separatists. <laughs> Only 18,000? Try harder. Pueblo has rivaled Castile. <laughs> Alright, let's go get these guys in Nice. Do you have any uh, colonial nations left? You do. You still actually have your colonial nations. Once again, they were unable to break free. Alright, you're dead. Uh, let's take your lands and get you out of here. Bye. Okay, natives in all of northeastern America are gone. They got rebels now, but I think you can handle that. Pima is allied to Pueblo. Chinook. You'd be a better target. I say that we, well, I said we cobalized your Salish and declare imperialism. Go kill Chinook. They took over all of, uh, they took over all of California. All these poor Europeans need to be freed. I don't I don't I don't care about them. They're irrelevant to me. All right. Uh it is 1713. What this means is we need to finish our war now. So, Morocco taking all your lands. 47 overextension? Are you kidding me? All right. Morocco's out. 
And then we go to Tlemcen. And I, at the very least, want to take the entire coast. That is just enough overextension to make that work. We're not going to full annex Tlemcen, but, you know, it's all that I care about. Give me your money. And war reps. Done. And he's not going to even get to attack me anymore. Boom! Oh my god. Look at my font. Yes. It's beautiful. Fez was worth 102 power? How much was in Fez? 46 development? Not bad. Alright, we've taken over the entirety of the North African coast. Hooray! No more pirates in my land. I love it. British Columbia is kind of in trouble. Let's, by the way, subsidize Alaska. Nine ducats a month isn't crazy, right? All right, so who else are we fighting? These guys up here. Let's take a general. We lost a general. Let's get a new one. You're terrible! There you go. Uh, wow, okay. A 4463 is one of the best generals I've ever had in this game. Let's go up... Uh, I can't get through. Castilian, whatever. Can you... Castile, can you give me... You refuse to give me military access because you hate me. Well, that does put a damper in our relationship. I would need a navy. All right. It's going to take a long dang time, but bring over a navy. I mean, my, my guys, I would like to think, can handle it. Nuremberg will cede land to Brandenburg, who is getting even stronger. Mm-hmm. Brandenburg is now considered to be a world power. Mm-hmm. So it's me, then the Ottomans, then Russia. It used to be Russia was stronger than the Ottomans, so the Ottomans have been doing pretty well for themselves lately. Hey, Ming, how many favors we got? Thirteen. What do you know? Let's improve relations with these guys for a bit. So I just saw some truces expire. Not with these guys, though, so it doesn't matter. Bob Monis is allied to Multan. Mali has entered into a military coalition. A lot of people are entering into military coalitions. That could get really awkward. Venice, don't join Bengal or Jarkand. Don't do it. They're still not tributaries of Ming. I think it is time to dock these guys up. We've lost a few ships here and there, which I don't like. Yes, yes, more military coalitions, blah, blah, blah. I took a lot of land from Tlemcen. Oh, no, spare me. Um, we need more transports. And I wouldn't mind some extra heavies. This guy doesn't need to be here. I'll send him to go protect trade in... someplace. Can I not actually research Venice? I don't think so, because I don't own any land there. No, I don't own a lot of land in a lot of places. Why can't I, um... I just want to see. Huh. It's not here. Weird. Okay, um... Continue converting all these Catholics. These troops, uh, we actually do have to now worry once again about the unrest. But I think we can handle it. A lot of people are refusing trade with me. That's fine. We are going to kill... Whoop. Go here, please. Northumberland is now able to make coal. Okay. So... Derby, Glamorgan, Chester, and Northumberland. We already have Derby, Chester, and... Northumberland, so it's just about Glamorgan, which is almost ready. I don't think we're going to be able to finish the achievement in this video. I think the next one might be the most likely scenario, though. You're at 97, so one more month. Done. Time to build a furnace. 
Or we'll go deal with them. Have to wait until the end of the month anyway. Merry Christmas. There you go. Now we're producing coal. Such a good resource. Ten gold. And a furnace just lets you produce more of it. So it just it's just worth so much. Man, that's good. Solid. And that's not even a really good development province. Look at like Derby. 15 production. We're making 11.5 ducats in production. Holy crap. That's super good. All right. We're only one year away from getting some tech. Which is no biggie. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving some troops that away. Actually, let's just go ahead and start moving a lot of troops that away. And you know something? We have 300,000 manpower. I say we build more troops. Get myself up to 660. Nay. Up to 704. Nay. Up to 748,000 troops. We can afford it. My manpower's gone. Besides that. And by the way, all I have to do is build a force limit camp somewhere, anywhere, really. And there we go. That'll solve my force limit problem. <laughs> Alright, we'll get some more uh, training fields and stuff. Uh, a bit more manpower. Anything we can get is probably pretty good. Uh, some production. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. How much are we making right now? 300 ducats a month, casually. Very casually. Ottomans are at war with Ethiopia. Asturias is now producing coal. Build a thing. We are, I think, a year away. Colonialism against Bamanis. Did you... You can you colonized right here? You are kidding. Well, I just don't think I want to stand for that. Uh, you guys never arrived here, did ya? Uh, let's go ahead and drop y'all off in Hawaii. There you go. And you guys, you're taking a tiny bit of attrition. Not that much, really. Come over here. Alrighty. Looking solid. Hey, look. Zealots. I remember those guys. They were fun. How many troops you got, Ottomans? 247,000. Compared to my 649. You know, when I have half a million troops more than the uh, Ottomans, then I think I'll feel very comfortable killing them. The coalition, alas, is massive, and apparently Russia joined. Well. Ain't that fun. Hey, Russia, we don't have to be enemies. Did you know this? We really don't. They desire a lot of my provinces. They desire Mexico? You, If you want to colonize, freaking go for it, okay? Russia? You ain't got no excuse. You've been doing nothing this whole time. Alright. These guys still want to land over here. We're having a hard time killing these guys. Californian Separatists that Chinook definitely can't handle. That's fun. Where's the White Squadron? Where's my Navy? There you are. Hello. Oh, good. And Bamanis joins too. Everyone gets to join the coalitions. I hate to say it, we may actually have to either wait for the coalition to go down, depending on what Bengal does, or something. Persia, why would you join? They're the defender of the faith. I thought the Ottomans were the defender of the faith, and now Persia is. Oh, gosh dang it. It's fine, we can handle them. Uh, okay. Convert, convert. Is it tech time? Nope. A few more months. Truce expires what day exactly? I want to know. March. Less than a year. Less than a year to go. And then we go kill Bengal. Actually, we may be able to finish this video, uh, this series in this video. We may actually be there. Maybe. Uh, looks like the British West Indies and the 13 colonies are doing the Lord's work over there. Just in time for me to pick up my troops. And now we can walk through. Oh, okay. 400 ducats from British Mexico. Wow. That's pretty good. How are the rebels looking? We got a few. And by a few, I mean a lot. Yeah, 
And what we do have is a lot of trade ships that I'm not using. We should fix that. Send you guys up to Nice, I guess. We'll protect trade in Venice or something. I don't care. Printing press gives benefits. Uh huh. Lithuanian separatists. Okay. Go here and then to Riga. You guys actually just protect trade in Genoa. Hey, where'd the rest of my navies go? Wait, what's this? Oh, right. I think we have a navy protecting trade here, right? No, they're not. Hang on, fix that. Okay, uh, we are continuing to convert these guys up here. Lots of Anglicans up in former Lithuania. We are just a few short months away, and our cores will be done in time for us to take whatever we want from Bengal. Form a proper little British Raj. I got a temptations, honestly. Just go ahead and create a client state called the British Raj. Better cannons, production, and so on. We actually are pretty close to getting another idea group. I would definitely be going for another military idea group, I think. If I'm given the choice. More mercantilism, please. <sighs> Alright, cannons. Uh, let's upgrade those. Better fire value. Makes a difference, man. You have 13,000 cannons. You have 14. You have 14. You have 20. You are unbalanced. Let's fix this. New settlements. Base tax in Hawaii, I guess. Lithuania will cede a load of land to Russia. Truce of Bengal just ended. I need to declare the war before they join a coalition. Which is right now. Right, right, right now. Imperialism! Why is it that the second I did that, Teutonic Separatists fired? It's like the Teutons heard imperialism and thought, I want to get in on that action. Need a general, need a general, need a general, need a general. You are going to go here, 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 wait. Yeah. How many forts you got? Two. I want to declare war on you too, but the good news is you don't have any aggressive expansion because I released you. So you can't join. What did we just... We just lost some troops. Oh, he killed these little guys. Oh, come on. Leave my infantry alone. Fine, if you're distracted, I'm just going to siege everything you got. Tariffs on cotton. Salish. I can't even take your land. Concede California. That'll work. Give me free prestige. You're done. Bye. We have Holy War against Pueblo. At least we did for a minute. Chinook. Concede California. And all that land goes to my little guy. My little buddy. Boom. Okay. What do you mean I have to core stuff? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do I have to core? Huh? There we go. I was going to say, that doesn't seem right. Hey, Newfoundland, can you help? I may have made a mistake. I, I stumbled into their nesting ground. Help. Well, that's a stack wipe. Oops. Oh, Purge is already here. Hi, Persia. You're going to Kathmandu. I can deal with that. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here while they're distracted. That's a wasteland. I can't. Go here. He nope. Go here, here, and here. Okay. I want to kill Persia. Force march, get in there. Apparently there are a couple of Bengalese troops and they took control of the leadership for some reason, but alright. Our colony has been struck by Roman fever. Gosh dang it. We can call in an ally? Ming wants to join. That's nice of you. I don't think I need to, but that's nice of you all the same. Moroccan separatists. 
gosh dang. Just kill him. Should have kept some troops down there. Actually, I should keep some troops down by Tlemcen too. That would be wise. Didn't I build a fourth army? There it is. Found it. Convert, convert. Thank all. Did you get any forts up to the north? Nope. Uh, oops. Let's keep away from Persia. Okay, Choose of Jarkand has ended. Apparently it was longer than the other one. Don't know how that happened. You guys are going to go over there. I'll just go ahead and spread out a little bit. Jarkand needs to die. Ethiopia has finished their thing. Good. Nepal will join, which I don't care about. Uh, you allied to anyone else? You're a tributary of Ming. That's why we can't co you. Just making sure. All right, I think we declare another imperialism war against you. Arthur Cook died. I liked him. Ouch. Terrible. New. 4242. Hmm. It's not the best, is it? Go kill Jarkand. Alright, so overextension should be over in about a month. Or maybe two days. We don't need to take much here. We really don't. So kill Nepal. In Nepal. Nice, quiet Nepal. How long is it taking to build these fortress uh, furnaces, by the way? A while. We're only 38% of the way done here? Man, why is it taking so long? I don't know. Why is it taking so long? Hmm. We actually might uh, be done with Bengal before we are finished with the furnaces. Ironically, that might be our last mission. Which would be appropriate, given that it is literally the last mission in the list. Alright, Nuremberg, Trier. Koro is self-sustaining over here. Wonderful. Tlemceni Separatists. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and colonize over here. Let's fill in the gaps. Um... I'm going to give you a general and kill. You are going to go kill. Unrest is mostly under control now. We still have a lot of states that I need to make, by the way. I'm aware of this. Okay, let's just go ahead and do a little carpet sieging up there. And then send these guys up north and see if we can detect where the Persians have gone. Fez is cored. There goes the Siege of Nepal. You're worth 2.2% overextension. Inconsequential, really. Jarkan's the one that I need. But I guess while we're waiting, let's go ahead and eat Nepal. That might upset Ming a tiny bit, but they'll barely notice that they're gone. Besides, British Nepal makes sense. Let's go ahead and get that, and you are dead too. That's 4% overextension for me. Well, it will be once that other thing's gone. We could bring Ming in against uh, the Persians, I just realized, if we wanted to. The Flying Shuttle. Guy Amherst, a local inventor from Lothian, has patented a new design for a wheeled shuttle that he promises to revolutionize weavening by eliminating the need for a second person to catch the shuttle as it passes through the warp threads. Wool, cloth, silk, and cotton can now start events. However, the introduction of the Flying Shuttle apparently causes unrest in Lothian. Because they don't like change, I guess? I don't know. Alright. 24% war score is not good enough. So my question then is, what do I need to do? Go kill Persia? For this mission, we need three provinces in total. Just these three. That's it. I, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't need 
to keep fighting anyone. The only reason I would keep going is for the sake of the Imperialisms and all. If I take those, he'd accept. I don't know, I think we just keep going for a little bit. I'm in no rush. Um, let's start with the artillery damage in the back row, because that's really good. Alrighty. Um, I, can, I, I will end the war as soon as the furnaces are done, which is apparently going to be a while. October 1718, two more years? Jeez, man. That is going to take a long time. I guess we'll just full occupy these guys, and then we're going to go kill Persia and just, you know, whatever. Because I don't even care. Since we got nothing else to frickin' do. People laugh at our army. Why? This army is the largest and most powerful in the world, and it's beating the snot out of everyone who dares to look at me the wrong way. That doesn't make sense. Oh. Compensate the traitors. Mercantilism. Yes. Okay. Mercantilism is up to... 79%. I could spend Diplo Power to rush that a bit more if I wanted to. Also go ahead and grab another level like so. I mean, even if I decide not to continue the series, obviously I'm going to take the opportunity... To, um... I'm going to take the opportunity to go and uh, finish a few other achievements in my own time at the very least. Hey, look, Persia. Let's go kill him. Did I lose another general? No, I moved him somewhere else. City demands seat. Sure. Go for it, Coventry. Ah, I found 30,000 of their troops. Okay. So, I need you guys to go here, you to go to this fort, and you to go to their capital, because it looks like they either lost a fort or deleted it. Oh, wait, that's their capital. What am I talking about? Hang on. Go there. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Let's see. I can probably kill this one stack. Just to say, screw you, Persia. And these guys are going to sit over here and try to make sure he doesn't come back up this way. Only 30% war score. We should have a ticking war score going. It is going to go up another 19 points if we sat around and wait for a while. Did the Ottomans just rival me? I think they did, which means we can rival them back after this. That's good. October 1718. Sweden declared war on Lithuania. Ooh. You're still being protected by Russia. Come on. They're going to take this one province. I found some of their troops. We're going to get to kill a few thousand of them. Assault crisis. Ouch. Where are you going? Let's catch them in Kabul. Squish. Squish. Training a lot of cavalry, were you? Tehran has come under their occupation. I got enough troops over here to be a threat, but I've got a large-ish army plus Salzburg. Maybe we'll be okay. We could consider, by the way, annexing the rest of my vassals. And there's really nothing that would be stopping me from doing so. Oh, by the way. We no longer need to worry about uh, institution embracement costs. Let's get a free extra 1%. Missionary strength. Salzburg's dead. So it turns out they're not going to be helpful after all. That's fine. I'm still going to go and kill your capital. Try to knock you out of this war. Natives are being a problem again. Uh, hello. We found some of their stuff. Okay. We need to go and kill these troops. Peasants are sieging land that I don't want them to siege. You guys need to go over here. There's more Persians to kill. Should be able to catch that army easily enough. Good job. Can I piece Persia out? Nope. I got one fort, though. 
If I get your capital down, I think he'll give up. There goes Calm. Now they'll give up. I'd like to force you to be my ally. Persia. That's what I would like to do. If only I could. We're gonna go for a long video here, guys. We're very close to the end. I'm gonna keep going on speed five. I think war reps and some money. No, just war reps. All right, get out of here, Persia. 96% war score. Good. One of you come back home. You go clean up peasants. You also. You head back over here in case I have to fight the Ottomans in the future. Manpower is a little bit light. It's not as much as it should be. We should be doing a lot better on that. Okay. So how are we looking up here? Pretty good. October of 1718. One year away, and then we can finish the game. No Bengal. How are we looking on overextension? Only 4.5%. I guess... Wait. Oh, no. You can't give me the province I want because Pegu just took it. Or somebody. Pegu? Pegu. Pegu! My options are to kill Pegu. Imperialism! We're gonna kill him. You dared to take the province that I wanted. You're dead. You're dead meat for that. Stack white. Die, die, die! We're gonna come over here, we're gonna finish you off. Oh. If I had waited a moment... Well... <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just take all of this. That looks pretty good, right? I think so. Let's double check. These three, nothing else. These three, nothing else. Okay. Bengal, it's been nice knowing you, bud, but it is time for you to be done. Squish. British India's looking pretty good right about now, ain't it? That didn't cost me as much overextension as I ex expected it to. Northern India, national manpower modifier and tolerance of heathens for 20 years. Go to Pegu, kill them all. Go to Pegu, kill them all. Blockade. Blockade. I found your navy. Waiting a few more months to October. Oh, you have, you have peasants. That's cute. What religion are you? Oh, you're a Theravanda, or whatever you're called. All right, well, I'm gonna go kill your peasants for you. Californian separate. Gosh dang it, the freaking map does not know how to work. With this nonsense. Go clean them all up. Go get them. Afghanistan has entered into a military coalition. Yeah, I mean, the entire world is basically united against me at this stage. <laughs> Almost literally, by the way. Almost literally the entire world. It's pretty darn close. And so long as both Russia and the Ottomans are in the coalition, I don't expect it to go away anytime soon. All right, I already know that I killed their army, so let's just go and discover more lands. Convert, convert. Da doop ba doop do. Lanos is producing sugar, huh? Thanos is producing sugar, huh? What? You guys can go to this fort? Nope. You guys can go to this fort? Yeah, use the use the navy to get me around a little bit faster. That's fine. I can't core this because Pegu has a core on it, so let's keep that in mind. How are we looking? Did we finish the one in Glamorgan? Yes. So, all we need is one more. Yep, Northumberland, that's literally all we're waiting on, guys. Hampshire gets a seat in Parliament. I'm gonna sit back here on speed five, because I don't even care. I don't even care! An Inquisitor died. That sucks. 
Come on, come on. We're just a couple of filthy months away. Just a couple of months. Everything's looking solid up here, guys. I feel pretty good about how things have turned out in Europe. We've won a siege. Goody. Split, split, and split. Go here, 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 and here. You guys get a general and go to this fort. Convert. One more month. One more month. I'm waiting for the pop-up. Improved steam engine again. There it is. There it is! Alright, let's just double-check the list. Levy the troops, Maritime Empire, War of the Roses, Hundred Years' War, all this stuff, all this stuff. Check, 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 check. All the check marks. Look at all the green, look at all the green, look at all the green. Look at me go, look at me go, look at me go. Industrial Revolution! Boom! And that's the end of it. End of the month. Where's my achievement? There it is! Anglophile! I've done it! It only took a good, like, month after the Dharma expansion released, but I've done it! The Anglophile achievement is mine! This is my empire. Looks pretty good, right? Granted, we have another hundred years of the game to go. So if I wanted to, I can absolutely get bigger and stronger than this. 100% I can continue going and get bigger and stronger. But for now, I feel like this was a really fun achievement run. England is phenomenally powerful. But not too powerful. We've been having to, we've been losing taking some losses against big power players. Mainly we have the advantage in that we have a huge colonial empire that does serve me quite loyally. Oh, and we can get around. We have incredibly good mobility throughout the globe. Woof. That was a fun campaign, guys. I really appreciate the support that I've received throughout. I know that the views were actually pretty good for most of this uh, compared to most EU4 series. So I'm happy with that. You guys have been fantastic. I love y'all. But I need to go and take a break. I will decide later whether or not I want to continue this uh, series and go for other achievements like All Your Trade Are Belong to Us. But for now, I need to take a break. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.